What's up everyone, it's Noah with Royal Nation Creations. I hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna talk about rock iguanas and if it's the right pet for you. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, number one, let's start with housing. This is Rousey, our male rhino iguana. He's currently a year and a half old and he's being housed in a four by two by two enclosure. For if you're just getting a baby, I wouldn't start them out in something this big. I'd probably put them in a 40 gallon or even a little bit smaller because when they're babies, you don't want to have them in too big of an enclosure. It's going to cause them to be stressed out and they more than likely won't eat or the taming process won't go as easy. So I would definitely recommend that. And also, you don't want to have too many hides because with the babies, if you give them a lot of hides, they're just going to hide and they're never going to get used to seeing you. And you want them to see you as much as possible so that they can get used to you and see that you mean no harm to them. Also, another thing I would recommend is put the enclosure somewhere in your house where there's a lot of movement and they're going to see people because you want them to see you as much as possible. As far as basking you, get, you want to have a good basking spot i like to keep my temperature around 100 to 125 degrees on the hot side and then on the cool side i like to keep it around 80 to 85 and also make sure your whatever light you're using has good uv output the mercury vapor bulbs that i'm using are 150 watts a piece and i have two of them on the 4 by 2 by 2 to reach the temperatures that i'm going for so that's it for housing let's move on to the next number two feeding as far as feeding goes i like to feed all my iguanas daily i offer them all the different greens between collard greens turnip greens mustard greens also another staple in their diet is squash zucchini and then occasionally Maybe twice a week, I'll offer them some fruits, um, blueberries, bananas, strawberries. I don't give them the fruit every day because most of the time when you give them the fruit, you'll notice that they eat that over the greens. So I want to make sure they're getting their greens in. And also another thing that um, you'll want to do is a few times a week, add in a multivitamin with some D3 just to help with their bones. Um, another great thing too with the blueberries is it really helps with um, taming them out so for that'll do it for feeding so let's go ahead and get into temperament all right for number three let's get into temperament and socializing for the most part with all the rhino iguanas i've had they tame out very easily you'll just want to like I said previously, put them in an area where they see you a lot and just get to know you. And they, I believe they do recognize voices and they will get to know you. But as far as the baby rhino iguanas, what I did that worked for me is I would just start out very slowly by just cleaning their enclosure daily and just getting them used to my hand being in their enclosure. And then over time, what I would do is just stick my hand in there and just set my hand in there. Let them see it. They're not gonna come up to your hand at first. And then over time, once they get used to it, they'll walk up to you and they'll start to lick your finger. And that's what they do to kind of read you and get to know you. And if that doesn't work, you can also try to entice them by sticking a blueberry or a small piece of banana in your hand because if anyone knows rhino iguanas, they can't resist bananas or blueberries. It's their favorite. Um, but that's definitely the best way to start with the baby rhinos is work slow with them. And they're all going to be flighty at first when they're babies just because they're so small. So they think everything's going to eat them. But as they get bigger, they will start to mellow out and get more confident with themselves. So just don't give up on it because... They're going to be flighty when they're babies. You just got to keep being persistent, but in the end, it's definitely worth it. As you can see here, our male, he loves being pet. And that's another sign too right there, what he's doing, how he's raising up. 
that's a good sign. That means he likes what I'm doing. So you definitely want to, over time, you'll learn to read your rhino iguana and know what he does and doesn't like. I've been bit a few times by the Lewis eye that we have, and one thing I've always noticed about him, when he gets in a mood that he doesn't want me messing with him, he'll do a head bob, like a very fast head bob, and usually that when they do that, it means not to mess with them. But this guy here, Rousey, he, he loves his pets. These guys are my favorite to work with. They're, they're so entertaining to watch and just see all the cool things that they do. But, okay, let's get on to the next one. All right, I just wanted to show you over here one of our um, baby Lewis highs. This is a enclosure that's good for a starter. It's just a little 20 gallon. It's got his food dish, a nice basking area. Up top I have his UV as well as his heat light and it works perfect. This is what I've always used um, to start the babies out with. Cause you didn't, like I said, you just don't want to put them in something too big or you're just going to stress them out. But you also notice on the glass when you own one that you'll see this on the glass a lot. It's nothing to worry about. It's just salt deposits that they sneeze. So you will notice that you're going to be cleaning the cage a lot but it's completely normal. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video on rock iguanas. If you have any questions, just message me and I'll be happy to answer them. But thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.